Hello again, this is Paula, and somebody had given me some, I think they call them beet greens, okay? And I said, well, I really don't like beets. And they said, well, it tastes like spinach. So I says, okay, I'll, t I'll try it. So they told me to cut off the ends, okay? And that's what you do first. So, and then once we cut off the ends, the stem, what we're going to do, they said cut it up, you know, like bite size, which I'm going to do, and then um, they said saute it with a little olive oil and so garlic. I used my mom's knife to cut up those stems of the beet greens, and I've got a little olive oil, probably about a tablespoon, okay, and I'm going to put those beet stems in the skillet and I'm just going to saute those until they're um, soft. They're very hard. They are almost as hard as a stick. So I think we're going to have to uh, saute those a little while and then we'll come back and we'll add that garlic and then I will cut up the leafy part of the beet green and put that in with the stems of the beet greens. Okay, I added a half a cup of water to those beet green stems because they're very hot. I think they need a little water. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of some minced garlic to that while it kinda sautés in the water. And it's, the water is now like a red from the beet stems. So when we come, this is probably, I'm going to do it a medium heat. It's probably going to take a okay, good, it's been a good uh, seven, seven minutes, minutes and all the water, as you can see, is cooked off. And now we're going to add the cut up beet greens stem, the, the leafy part of it. I cut it up with my mom's knife and now we're just we're just going to saute that on a medium heat. All right, here we have it. Here are the beet greens. Now I did not add any salt or pepper because I just want to try them to see how they are. So let's see what we have here. Some nice beet greens. Let's see if you can see this. Let's see if we can get here. Okay, let's try the beet greens and see what it tastes like. Well, it does taste like spinach. Well, it's just got a little bit of stronger taste. Um, so I think what I would do with this is I would use beet greens in like a froja with, you know, some eggs, um, some onion and some potatoes in a pan. And I would make either a froja or an omelet. Um, I don't think I'd serve this just on the side as a um, vegetable. I think it has to go into something. So if you like this video, this is Paula. May God bless well, you. I just got off Until the phone time. with my friend, um, and I told her that I cooked the beet greens, and I was thinking of what I could do. Uh, so what she said was, she had a friend that used to use the beet greens, but she says she doesn't she doesn't like them too much. So what I'm going to do is I took one small carrot and I shredded it okay well grated it and then I took a half of Vidalia onion and chopped it up and put a little olive oil and a little peanut oil maybe a teaspoon of each and I'm sauteing that and then I took I took some boiled potatoes that I cut up and I'm going to saute that together We're 
we're going to saute that. And once this is sauteed, then I'm going to add my beet greens, and this is going to be a side dish. So you'll have your vegetables, you'll have your starch, all in one, and it's, it's going to be colorful. And hopefully, it'll be good tasting and good for you. So, we'll so see what the happens. potatoes, the carrots, and the onions, and the garlic have been cooking about seven minutes on a medium medium high heat and they're pretty well done so now I'm going to add those beet greens that we cooked prior I'm going to add that to the potatoes and everything I'm going to just saute that up just a very little bit Oh, I forgot to tell you what my friend said. When I told her I was going to make a, you know, do something with the beet green, she says, that's very Italian of you. <laughs> I guess us Italians, we, we, we try to do different recipes, you know, to make things work. So that was funny. She made me laugh. <laughs> so this looks pretty good. So what we'll do is when my daughter comes over, I'll have her try this too. So this is the finished product of the beet greens with the potatoes, the shredded carrot, the garlic, and the onion, and a little olive oil, and a little peanut oil. And so I tried a little bit. It was great. I really liked it. So we'll okay. see how so my daughter likes it. Here is the beet greens with the potatoes, shredded carrots, onion, and garlic and I think I put a little ground pepper so um, Sarah's gonna do a taste test on this oh, now be careful Sarah because it's, it's very hot you know yeah I I'm take blow it. yeah no really because you'll burn yourself really blow on it hmm. and tell me what you think the beet greens are a little bit they kind of taste like um, um, spinach but it's a little bit, like, not as it's not, sweet. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't know, like, maybe salt or something. But it's, You need a little salt? No. I, it was mostly the beet greens, I think, that just needed it. You need a little salt? Here's some sea salt. That works. Yeah, mix it up, though. Yeah. And see what you think. But I liked the color, mm. and I did the Vidalia onion and the carrot, because I figured yeah. it would sweeten it. Mm. Because the beet green... They have I'm bitter. A, yeah, it's kind of a little bitter. It's not as sweet as spinach. Yeah. But it kind of has that taste of spinach. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's an okay dish. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. For for on the side of something, because you get your potatoes, you get your vegetables. Yeah, it's good for a vegetable dish. You yeah. Can some like you know fiber. On the side. Yeah, fiber. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, this is Sarah and Paula. And this is the beet greens with potatoes. So if you like this recipe, please subscribe. And until next time, this is Mama Paula's Kitchen. <laughs> May God bless you. Until next time.